Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, still the same day, still the uh, 28th of February. But before I started cutting wood, I decided I needed to sharpen my blade on my chainsaw. So I thought, well, you know what? Since I recently just learned how to do this myself, thanks to my neighbor showing me, I thought I would share it with you. So I'm going to show you up on top here. You see the little, I don't know if you guys can, hopefully you can see that. There's a little groove in the top of the chain, okay? And that shows you which way that you have to go um, when you're sharpening your chain. So you, this one's obviously facing the other way, so I'll have to turn the, the blade around when I'm doing that. So basically what I'm going to be doing is, uh, I'm going to, let's see where it left off here. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to take my, sharpener and I'm just going to run that now you don't want to go back and forth because you're going to end up screwing up your your sharpener so you're just going to go in the one direction and the line actually tells you all right that one's good the line tells you which way to go so I'm going to move this up I skip this one and I'm going to go to the next one which is also in the same direction. All right, and it's got a nice little sharpness to it. And again, I'm going to skip this one because I'm going to have to come around to the other side and do that. And then this one here, and I don't know if I can show if, if. You see the line and you see the way I'm going with my directional of my sharpener here see so um, that's how you have to do it okay so and I obviously have a glove on because I'm dealing with a very sharp chainsaw so I really don't want to cut myself Again, so now we'll skip this one because this is, you know, I'm going to show you this. All right, I'm skip. I just did this one, right? Oh no, I'm sorry, I just did this one. So I'm skipping this one because the blade's got to go the other way. So I'm going to have to come around this way when I sharpen that one. So here's the next one. I'm going to be sharpening right there, and there's the line you see, and that's how far you can actually go back. Um, that's how many times you can actually sharpen the blade. But I'll tell you what, it makes it makes all the difference in the world when you're cutting if your blade is sharp. It's a, it goes through like butter. When it's dull, you're fighting against it, so. And again, it was Greg that showed me how to do this. So, the only reason I have this skill now is because of him. But again, that's another good thing, is learning how to do different things. Oh, see, I pulled back. I don't want to do that. I'm going to show you guys something here in a second. Okay. Now, this is the one I just sharpened, and you can see the sharpened area. This one hasn't been done yet, and you can see where it's still more dull. So there's the sharpened one, and there's the dull one. So, and like I said, then you, I'll do the one whole area all the way around. And then I'm going to go back, flip the blade around, and do the other side so that both sides are, are in good shape. Now, I, 
I wanted to show you guys that I did get the gutters up, but I do have to do one thing, which is not going to happen today. But gutters are back up, so that's all squared away now, um, except for I got to re glue right there. But it's like it's going to need time to, to cure, so I'm going to wait on that. This is this is a side that basically just runs off this up to the to the, um, the chimney. Um, it runs off and it just goes into the bucket. So that's not going into the rain catchment. Now, what I did do today also, and I just kind of did it on a whim because I was looking at it, I went up on top and I was checking out uh, my cap and it wasn't, um, it wasn't that bad, but I cleaned it all anyway just because I don't have a fire going today because it's in the 60s and uh, you know it's um, I might as well get it something else out of the way why wait till it is completely clogged again and actually because it wasn't that clogged it was really easy to clean and it just started getting some creosote um, up there and there goes Eddie for a run um, so it was just starting to get some creosote and I don't know if let me show you that there uh, yeah, you can't really see it from there, but the top is really nice and clean now, the cap on uh, up there. So I could zoom in, but now let's see. Let me zoom in so you can see the cap. Okay, now you can see the cap nice and clean. All the things are not full of crap anymore. So that... Uh, That's all done now too. Um, so anyway, getting back to this here, and we'll show you a little bit more of this. I know it's probably not super exciting, but it has to be done. I hope you guys can see this okay. I'm going on the angle that it says to go. Right, that one's good. Again, skipping this one because it's the other way and onto this one. Now, all you guys out there that are experts at this, please don't beat me up too bad about it. Because realistically, like I'm telling you, this is my first time ever sharpening the blade on my chainsaw. I watched what Greg was doing, and so, and he explained to me again, like I said, you don't want to do the sawing aspect of it. You just want to put it in and run it in there. But it's going to save you from having to go and take it in and take it off and have somebody sharpen it for you all the time. Oh, these are a file, by the way. I was blanking out here for a minute, and I couldn't remember what it was. Um, <laughs> it happens. So, you know, you're just going to take your file. I hope you guys can see that, all right? I'm looking to see how close I am. Now this way for me is going to be super easy because obviously I'm left handed. When we flip it around and do it the other way, it's going to be a pain in the butt because that's more for a right-handed person to do. Oh, actually, I hear a chainsaw up on top. I will bet you dollars to donuts that that's Greg. 
he uh, put in a pool this year, in-ground pool, not in-ground, above-ground, I'm sorry, and uh, his wife has some health issues, so he has a boiler, and he heats the water with wood. So he wasn't prepared for how much wood he was going to end up having to burn. So he's taken advantage of uh, the mild weather as well. Right. Okay, I'm close now. Yep, okay. So this is the last one. So I will flip around and I will show you guys the other way. Again, this is time consuming. It's a pain in the butt. But when you're cutting, it's much easier. Now this one, we'll start, let me get you over here more so you can see better. We'll start, let's see, wait a minute, let me take a look at this. Oh, okay. Is that, hold on a second. Yeah, it's this way. Is that right? I'm not sure I'm going to do, hold on a second. I did. Let's see. I gotta look at this, guys. I'm sorry. This one I just did, okay. Again, you're following the pattern. I skipped the other one and then I did this one. I know it's kind of a boring video and I apologize, but I just thought it might be something that might help somebody. And again, to recap, you're going to follow the patterns of the lines. Oh, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm hoping you guys can see that. Um, again, I'm following the patterns of the lines. So you go that way with uh, with your blade, or your chisel, I'm sorry. And you're not gonna saw, you're not gonna go back and forth again. You're just gonna go forward with it. And when I get done, I will do my chainsaw. Tell me this is going to start raining. Well, we'll see what happens, but I'm going to get this puppy sharpened up no matter what. And 
And again, I would recommend if you're going to do this, wear a glove just so you don't cut your hand because that'll ruin your day. And I think it is going to start raining here. The biggest thing is be smart when you're doing these things. Um, just like wearing the chaps, and I showed you guys in a couple videos ago how the chainsaw had kicked back and it had caught my chaps. And if I hadn't had the chaps, it could have been a, a very, very bad day. So, <sighs> all right, so that's the video. I hope this helps. I hope, uh, I'm sorry, to, like I said, this is a very, very long video and I apologize. But I wanted to really show you how this is done. Um, like I said, I just learned. So if I can teach somebody else something that's going to help them out, I always want to do that. So anyway, guys, listen, have a great day. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Um, and the important thing is it's one step at a time, it's one thing at a time, and it's one day at a time. It's STD. You're always going to get there as long as you follow that simple pattern. No problems at all. Have a great day. I hope this helps. Um, like I said, just trying to teach some people stuff. So anyway, so let me just show you. I have a Husqvarna 455 Rancher, 18-inch uh, bar. All right, I'll see you guys later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.